Trucks in China are watching to see if drivers are paying attention. A fleet management company called G7 is using its Internet of Things technology to detect when drivers doze off, speed, or do anything they're not supposed to be doing. Joining us now is Bloomberg's Katrina Nicholas in Singapore. Katrina, tell us more about how this tech really works. So G7's technology aims to really remotely monitor all steps along a product's logistics journey from warehouse to delivery and COVID-19, which has obviously seen a huge jump in online shopping as people stay home and avoid crowds, has really presented an added opportunity for a company like this because customers are more focused than ever on security and tracing. Beijing-based G7 uses Internet of Things technology to track lots of different aspects of that process, from employing anti-fatigue cameras to call out bad driving behavior, built-in driver assistance technologies to send warnings if there's like insufficient space between vehicles when they're traveling along a highway, and even real-time cargo weighing, and that helps to prevent things like stealing or pilfering of goods along their journey. So G7 is backed by Tencent, and it's seen as one of the most valuable IoT companies out there in the world. What makes it stand out? So it does have some pretty high profile backers. Uh, Tencent, as you mentioned, another big one is Singapore's Tomasek. The company's last fundraising round was back in December uh, 2018 when it raised uh, money at a valuation of $1.2 billion. It's also working with investors to start another fund round of funding and may even consider uh, a capital raising or an initial public offering at some point in the future. That's according to uh, G7's chief financial officer. And I think what really is attracting investors is the sheer size and scope and potential of the logistics industry in China. The uptake of e-commerce means thousands of more packages and parcels are being trucked across this vast nation every single day. And there's a a real need to improve efficiency in that process. Just to give you an example, logistics costs in China were about 15% of GDP in 2019, and that compares to single digits in the US and Europe. And that really underscores the imperative for China to start to look at ways that it can lower these expenses. Definitely sounds like it's a growing space. Will we see this sort of surveillance tech overseas or in any other industries? I think you will, and you already are starting to see it elsewhere. Just last month, or sorry, earlier this month, rather, SoftBank's Vision Fund 2 led a funding round for a California-based startup. It's called Flock, and it's seeking to change the way the way goods get trucked around the US um, and its technology works by basically finding two loads of freight of a similar size that are roughly going from one destination to the other and then matching them together on the same truck. So thereby creating those efficiencies and really disrupting the whole hub and spoke model which has long been uh, the gold standard for the industry. Uh, and then in terms of surveillance, well, I think you know cameras and those sorts of monitoring devices are already in, in use in China in a lot of different aspects. Particularly, we've seen property developers and shopping mall owners employ this sort of technology, um, and they're using them to do all sorts of things, from checking people are parking in the right car parking spots to making sure that the grass is mowed and watered on time. And then even they're used for quite innovative uh, maintenance areas as well. So, for example, remote checking a garbage trash can and, and seeing whether it's full and then sending a robot and making sure that it's emptied on time. And so these are uh, all sorts of smart technologies that are increasing in use all around the world, you know, not just in China. And I think as autonomous driving um, becomes more prevalent, really these sorts of smart technologies uh, and surveillance will enter our lives and really become just part and parcel of the way we live. You just listed some benefits of the smart tech, but some may say this sounds like an invasion of privacy. How does G7 address that concern? 
Well, you know, I, I think they would argue that their sorts of technology uh, has the benefit of really reshaping the logistics industry and making things safer and more secure. You know, some of its technology, for example, can monitor if a driver is blinking too slowly and that might be a signal that they're going to sleep. And so they've got a system whereby they can send an alert into the driver's truck. And if the driver doesn't respond to that, then a, a real person can call the driver and check that they're okay and maybe suggest that they want to take a rest. So yes, this is, some would say maybe a little bit of an invasion of privacy, but I think G7 would argue that they're improving people's quality of life, making sure that goods are delivered safely and securely and on time and all around that's going to be a better thing.